guys. Uh, I just worked out. I'm not quite as red today um, from the workout because it was all like upper body work. So it wasn't so much cardio. So I'm definitely sweating, but like not, you know, as much as like cardio would be. It would make me red in the face. Yesterday I had so much energy, more energy than I've had in forever. I mean, everyone tells you that working out gives you energy, but like Romeo was like, what's wrong with you? Slow down. Like, why are you moving so fast? My arms are so weak. I can barely hold up the camera. It's almost 12 o'clock now. This morning we woke up early to pack all of the orders from the tie-dye collection that we did. We only have, I think as of when I came in here, there was only two pieces left out of 45. Oh, you guys, thank you so much. And when you get them, like share them on Instagram, tag him. Anything helps support his business. And I thank you so, so much. We had lots of fun making them. So I hope you enjoy them as much as we did making them. Okay, wow, he made a lot of progress. This whole box of, is full of orders that are going out and we just have a few more. Oh, one more. One more. And then these are going out too. Hi, Patty, Brittany, Yuri, Carly and Tracy and a whole bunch more. So we're gonna be going and dropping these off at the post office today. Um, again, carefully, as safely as possible. <laughs> and then I'm gonna get started on the dresser DIY and re redoing that dresser that I found at the thrift store over on my main channel. And I think it's gonna take me a couple of days to do. So you guys are gonna kind of get a behind the scenes of me making that. We're gonna be making dinner tonight and doing a Q and A. So I'm gonna be asking you guys on Instagram what you have questions about. <laughs> um, just what you wanna know or anything that um, we might not have shared already that you're curious about if you guys don't already follow us on instagram we're at mckinley and at it's dot romeo with is it dot yeah yeah it's dot romeo with three o's at the end okay so we're gonna go to the post office i'm going to shower and then i will see you guys when we get back and we start on the dresser <laughs> Okay, so it's been a few hours since I last talked to you guys. I'm ready to film. My first day is normally just kind of setting everything up and just making sure that I have all of my supplies together and thinking about everything that I could possibly need and making sure the batteries are charged in my camera, making all of all of that type of stuff where i'm gonna film so i've got most of the stuff that i'm gonna be using here this is kind of like a joint diy between us i want to say three weeks ago now i found this dresser at the thrift store and shared it with you guys and then when i went to lowe's to find paint swatches and things that i was going to need you guys along with me and i said like okay, I'm deciding between these paint chips or I'm deciding between these knobs, these black ones or these gold ones. And you guys helped me design this dresser. So it's kind of like, a, you know, we're doing this together. Um, so I did get all of the supplies, I hope, I think, before all of this craziness happened. And the dresser is out here standing up on its side in the living room, but here it is. Oh, is she so pretty? Who are you cuties? Hi. So we are going to be making turkey burgers tonight. And by we, I mean Romeo as me as an assistant. <laughs> but like I said, we're gonna be answering questions. So I just posted this on Instagram. Let's see if we have any questions. Oh my God, we have a lot of questions. Look at the questions. Oh my god get ready to answer some questions tonight i will see you guys when we start to cook okay guys we're gonna be making turkey sliders for dinner so how long have you guys been together a long time a long time we've been together for 11 years this past february so we met really young it's 12 years we round up yeah we always round up i feel like <laughs> i feel like once we got to a certain number of years, we just kind of were like, how many years is it? A lot? How did we meet? We were working at the same Italian restaurant across the street from where I lived in downtown Los Angeles. And we've been together ever since. Yeah, she trained me. I trained him to go on deliveries and then just share all of his tips with me. It was, <laughs> it was very fun <laughs> for me. <laughs> That's why we love Italian food so much. I hate to be that person, but any plans for baby's marriage? Oh yeah, definitely. All of it. Right? Yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> That's probably all happening in the very near future if we can control it, so. Yes. 
oh, what did you do previously to previously before like before YouTubing? So I went to fashion school at FITM and then went back for my business degree and then worked in fashion for a really long time. I was actually um, the vice president of marketing for a big fashion company. I think a lot of people don't know that, that I did that for, gosh, like six years, climbing the corporate ladder and doing all of that stuff. And then I realized that I just wasn't happy. I just wasn't fulfilled. I didn't feel like I was creative anymore. I felt like Oh, it was just not for me that life is for so many people, but it just, it didn't feel right for me. Um, so I took the leap and just left um, a pretty decent job and just kind of decided to do whatever it was. I didn't know what it was at the time. I didn't know that I was going to start YouTube a little less than a year before I started my YouTube channel. And it was really just me sharing the projects that I was already doing. I was like, hey, well, like if I'm doing this, like maybe I could share it and maybe people would be interested in it or maybe people would find, you know, like this helpful too that I think is what I found helpful. And it just, it took off from there. So I started YouTube and on my main channel in August of 2018. And there you go. That was a little bit of background. What did you do previously? This. <laughs> he cooked. Yeah, he was, I was um, in the corporate in catering. Well, yeah, I was in the, I've been in the restaurant industry for almost 10 years. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been in the kitchen for a long time. Yeah, I've been in the restaurant industry for a really long time, which is where he gets all of his really amazing knife skills from. Okay, what inspired you to start doing DIY type of stuff? Oh my gosh, I've been creative, creative type things. Oh gosh, since I was little, since I was literally born. And growing up, my dad is an architect and a civil engineer, and my mom is an... In yes! Is that working out or is that just splattering everywhere? And my mom is an interior decorator. And so growing up, we owned a boutique in my hometown and we would decorate homes and go overboard for Christmas and seeing them be so creative. And my mom had a hobby room where she would paint and do like such amazing things. And so did my grandmother and so did my great grandmother. So I feel like it's in my blood. I feel like it's just part of who I am. How did you and Romeo start your YouTube channel and mostly vintage? How'd you start mostly vintage, baby? We started thrifting a lot. I think you were like think, you were really you always loved to thrift shop. Yeah, I think in the past like six months, I've been really into thrifting, and maybe six months I actually got like super yeah, it was, serious. Yeah, like, super. You were super into it. Yeah. Oh, and so. then he got me into it, so he's what inspired all of my thrift flips on my channel because I wasn't really a big thrifter, like especially like for clothing in the beginning. Um, but I was I would go with him, mm -hmm. and then I would like look through the home decor part and then one day I was like oh I think that this could be a cool something something and then that's when I started the thrift flips on my channel and you guys love that really getting into thrifting is how we both started yeah and the everything hunt. the hunt is so fun he loves it he's so excited when he yeah. finds something like special so is YouTube your only job for me yes I designed homes and apartment buildings for a while in between starting, you know, and while I was building my YouTube. And then when it's really started to take off and you guys started subscribing and we started to grow, um, it's, um, I'm so grateful that I was able to turn it into a full-time job where I dedicate all of my time to it because my main channel videos are a lot of work and a lot of, I edit everything myself. I, it's just me and him. Like, he, <laughs> He helps me film and I edit everything. I direct everything. He's the man behind the camera always. So if it's shaky, it's my fault. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you had a little bit too much coffee that day. But he dedicates his time to mostly vintage. So that's where he spends his time. And then, of course, helping me. So we're, we are one. Like, I feel like when you're together with someone for so long or, um, you just know that that person is your person for life. We are, we are one. So we do, we, well, me, you and Kinsley and Sebastian, we're, we're all one. So everything that we do and all the effort that we put in and any business venture or any decision we all make together. Sebastian, yes, has an input. Kinsley, Kinsley, do you have inputs in the stuff that we do? What's on your chin? So in there we have onions, basil, um, 
little diced jalapenos, salt, pepper, chili powder, paprika, and onion powder, and, and a little bit of lemon. <clears throat> mm. Those are gonna be good. Do you have wedding plans? Not yet. No, no, no. Uh, we are not engaged, but we are very much together for the long haul. Um, you gotta do a makeup tutorial. Oh, I do have one on IGTV. I can do another one if you guys want to. How old are you? I'm 31, he's 29. Favorite wood stain, special walnut. No question, hi from New Zealand. Hi. Hi from California. Mm -hmm. What are you reading? What are you reading? I'm reading this one. I saw my name, so. <laughs> so you're only looking at the ones that just pertain to you. <laughs> What is Romeo's favorite DIY home piece you've ever done? That's a good question. Which one is? Which one? Probably the pendant light. The one uh, for the giveaway. The one that oh, you give it away. So my favorite is also your yeah. favorite? Yeah. Because remember how hyped that was when, uh, when you finished it? Yeah. By far, that carousel pendant light that we found at the thrift store that actually he found. He found the carousel. He was like, brought it over to me and he was like, can you do something with this? And I literally picked it up and I turned it upside down and I was like, pinned it light. And then it just like all came together with the wood and... Okay, will you ever have your own DIY shop where you sell stuff you make? Ooh. Yes. After this whole craziness goes away, there will be more info. Have you ever done home DIYs together? Um, he has helped me on a lot of DIYs actually. Especially when we do room makeovers, it's us. Like, you he helps see me. You do, I put you in. You wanna be in there? Uh -huh. Okay, he wants to be in them more. Where does Romeo store all of his clothes for his shop? Never saw them in your home tour. Mm, should we show them? You really want, you want to show them? Yeah, I don't mind. Wow. Everything's organized You're, though. I mean, yeah, so it's somewhat. super organized. It's I'm pretty proud of it because we spent a lot of like energy and effort making it like look yeah, building nice. The table okay, and... you guys want to see? Okay, so when you come into our house in the in the entryway, ignore my dresser. We're working on it tomorrow. So when you walk in, the coat closet that we have doesn't have our coats anymore. We keep them in our actual closets, and this closet is where he ships everything from. So you want to show? And then he slides these bins out. This is yeah. this is where he houses all of the inventory. Everything is labeled and organized. Yeah, so um, I have a SKU. Whenever an, um, an item sells, there's a SKU on eBay and it has the bin number and it's easy for me to pull the item. And then this is his desk with all of his shipping supplies and bubble wrap and glue, gu uh, glue guns. <laughs> <laughs> and tape guns. This is where the labels come out. More tape, gloves. Boxes over there. A scale. So now everybody knows where he ships all of his stuff. Do you guys plan on buying a house? 100,000%. Ideally, I would buy like a teardown house and build it from scratch. Um, or renovate a house. Maybe that's a little older that just needs some tender loving care. Third is just buying a house that's already new, but, but I feel like it's never gonna be what I want because I didn't design it. And I feel like there's things that I'm gonna wanna change. So I think when that time comes, we'll just like make the best decision on like how I can get the house of my dreams at the right price and you know, all of that stuff. Thoughts on designer luxury purchases. I love the thrifting, but I also love new purses. Oh, 100% I'm with you. I do own my fair share of designer bags. I love designer bags love them um, my favorite would be Celine just like our house I value buying a like quality piece of furniture but I also pair it with things that I make and and things that I thrift or find at the flea market so it's like all this like kind of juxtaposition of different things I feel like that's the same way in like my fashion style it's like I value a quality piece of clothing, especially being in fashion, of course I value that, um, or designer purses or nice shoes, and but also wearing thrifted clothes too. It's the same thing for me. How old is Kinsley? Kinsley! So Kinsley's birthday is October 30th. So she just, on this last October, she's turned two years old. We've had her since she was eight weeks, 10 weeks, oh, 10 weeks almost. I think. Um, she's also from Texas. She's from Houston, Texas. She's a multi poo mix and her dad was a toy poodle, a red poodle. That's just why she's apricot colored. 
and her mom was a white Maltese and her dad was like only four pounds or something crazy. Okay, what is your favorite room in your house for both of us? The bathroom. No, like design wise. The bathroom. Oh, the bathroom yeah. is your favorite? I like the bathroom a lot. Oh, wow. Is it because it's the recent one that we did? Mm -hmm. He likes it a lot better than the first time I designed the bathroom. He did not like, he said he felt like he was in the forest. <laughs> I like each room for very different reasons. I think the kitchen was my favorite, what we're in right now. I think that was the first time I had designed a room for myself where the color palette really came together the way that I like it. And every time I looked at it, I was like, oh, that's a good room. That's kind of how I felt every time I saw the kitchen. What's your favorite Filipino dish? Me or you? You guess mine and I'll guess you. The beef steak that my mom makes. I love I beef steak. Yeah, and the even uh, though I try not to eat a lot of red meat, even like we're eating turkey right now, I don't I don't like to eat a lot of red meat, but I love beef steak, like the vinegar and the onions, and the soy sauce, and the soy sauce, and then the ganilling, ganilling. Oh, I love ganilling too. That's really the raisins, good. right? With the raisins, my mom Potato. puts potatoes in there. So shout out I think to mom. you like tocino. Oh, you like um? No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. You wait. Ow. <laughs> sig sig. Pork sig sig. Yeah, but. I don't really eat it over here. I only when I'm in the Philippines. So oh. I eat it. oh uh, chicken adobo. Oh. Good. Just wanted to say that I love all your videos and you inspire me a lot. And Romeo, I love your tie-dye shirt that you're wearing right now. You just made all that up that it's not even written here. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite thing to do together? We do lots of stuff together. We do every let's be real, we do everything together. We're joined at the hip. We're the same person. Do I smother you? No. Do you ever get in creativity slumps? Oh, 100%. Of course. I feel like there are times when I'm feeling really inspired and Excuse really creative. And I take full advantage of that time. You know, to brainstorm or write my ideas down and figure it out. There's also days when I try to film and I just can't. Some days I just can't get the words out. And I'm like, I can't do this today. Like, we're going to have to wait until tomorrow. And that's totally okay, but I've given myself time to do that. Like I have another day if I need to. And I think it's just knowing yourself and... Okay, dinner's almost ready. We gotta answer, answer a few more questions. You link your jewelry pieces. Oh, I get a lot of questions on these jewelry pieces. Okay, so my fleur de lis here, my grandparents actually gave me this necklace when I graduated from my first degree in college and fashion design degree. And it, it was custom made. They melted my great, my great grandparents or my great grandmother's, I think it's my great grandmother's gold, and made this shape because I was born in Louisiana. So obviously their state symbol is the fleur de lis. Um, so this one was custom. This one I think is from Brandy and Melville, this one. And I can't link it because their website is completely shut down with this like lockdown. And then this one, the shorter one that I wear, I have had, this was my first piece of jewelry when I was a baby, my first necla necklace. So these little diamond studs are also um, when I was a baby. And then these earrings are brand new mobile too. How do you maintain keeping everything clean? It seems so exhausting to pick up and clean. I'm cleaning all the time. How do you start a YouTube channel? Just film and post. Don't overthink it, just do it. You'll never be ready. You'll, you'll never fully know like what type of content is gonna work for you. I definitely didn't think that I would enjoy doing thrift flips in the beginning. I didn't even know that that was even a thing. I didn't even know that I was gonna do room makeovers. Like it all comes with time. Have an idea, film the video, post it and stay consistent. Do you find it easy or difficult to work together in the same home as a creative couple? No. Not really. We bounce actually. ideas off each other. Yeah. For sure. I feel like we're both really helpful with both of like with YouTube side and then we're a good team for sure. We're good. <laughs> we are a good team. We've always been a good team. Okay, one more question. What are you guys watching? What are you watching? Okay, I can tell you what we're not watching. We're not watching Tiger King. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> and their mom it said, oh, if you watch Tiger King, if you watch Tiger King, watch Tiger King, you should watch Tiger King, it's so addicting, right? So we get three episodes in and I literally want to pull my hair out. I'm sorry, I can't do it, I couldn't do it, I won't go back, I won't be watching it. Turkey sliders, and mm -hmm. there's a little bit of garlic mayo, pretty simple, American cheese, tomatoes, arugula, jalapenos, and caramelized onions. Wow. 
Okay guys, that was so much fun. If you guys like like Q&As or we didn't answer all of your questions and you still have some, leave your questions in the comments below. And we are gonna eat and work on the Lego set, right? Good morning, guys. Ugh, it is leg day. I feel like leg day is always the hardest day for me, but I, the most important, because that's what I need to strengthen the most. Oh, I want to show you guys. We finished the Lego set, the Friends Lego set. I want to show you. Look at it. Oh my gosh, look. All of the friends, all of the characters are there, all six. It's so intricate, too. Wow. Okay, so let's go work out. Huge accomplishment today already. Like day, it's always one I don't look forward to, but I always do feel better. Go get ready because we have got to start filming. I think it's about 10 o'clock right now. Um, so I'm gonna get ready. Okay, so I am showered, ready to start filming. I'm just gonna start setting everything up, but I want to make a smoothie first. And we'll eat lunch a little later. All right, so this is where I've been loving to film my intros and outros because it has a lot of natural light. So I just set up my camera as best I can. And then you guys look at the full effect. That is what I look at. You can see me in the viewfinder. I just frame it right and sit here and film my intros and outros. Hey guys, happy Sunday and welcome back to my channel. We're gonna get started. We're gonna get this puppy outside wow it feels so nice to be outside it's like the sun is out but it's not hot and it's not cold it's like perfect it feels so good to just do a project outside so we got her out here here she is and i have all of my supplies out here too even though uh we're not going to be like painting or anything today probably just going to be sanding so we ran an extension cord out of the house down here for my sander so and if you guys thought that i could do this without this guy you were wrong he's helped look at his glasses <laughs> oh okay so finished priming all the dresser i'm gonna finish it in the morning huh ray kindley are we gonna finish it in the morning um so now it's giveaway time and <laughs> so you guys ugh, are gonna laugh but i was getting a little worried about you guys i was like huh it's like man i told everyone to comment with their favorite room that i've made over my house or all of them with hashtag giveaway and no one was doing it and i was like wait but they're telling me what their favorite room is why aren't they hashtag giveaway like i don't understand youtube decided to hold for review all of the comments that had any hashtags in it <laughs> so now I have to go through and accept like 4,000 comments. So it's gonna take a little bit of time. Everyone needs a chance to win. Ah, okay, I did it. It took me a little bit, not as long as I thought it was going to. So we have 4,315 entries. Hashtag giveaway. Please wait while we load comments. Please hold. We'll have a brief puppy intermission. Oh, she's a sleepy girl. Oh, it's done, it's done, it's done. It's done. Okay, pick a winner. <gasps> Melissa Daphne? Daphne? <laughs> Said your whole house is so gorgeous, it's hard to pick a favorite room. I have a soft spot for Scandi design, so your guest room, guest bedroom office is my favorite room. Love seeing all of your videos. Thank you for being so creative and original with your DIYs. Hashtag giveaway. Okay, Melissa Daphne, email me at xomckenna at gmail.com. So you'll have until like Saturday night at midnight to email me. I pick one just as a backup in case. I feel like Melissa's gonna come through. Sierra Nicholas. So if Melissa doesn't email me, so it's Thursday night. I'm gonna spend the rest of the night editing this video to get it up to you guys tomorrow. I wanna finish it tonight so that I don't have to worry about editing tomorrow to get this video live so that I can focus on the dresser and I have to wake up and work out. I'm so sore, you guys, I'm so sore. Don't forget to watch the new video on my main channel on Sunday where I redo the dresser so you guys can see the final results and then I will see you guys again in a new vlog on Tuesday. Okay, love you guys, bye guys. Say good night. 
Oh, say goodnight, Kinsley. Oh my god. Bye, guys.